clearly the only three possibilities uh, as career choices. I mean, I guess laborer could be anything that involves something that is not a teacher or a farmer. Because as you know, in this world, you're you're either a teacher or you're a farmer or you're doing something else. Yeah, or you're doing something else. So anyway, in the long run, what proportion of the population will be will be farmer? Okay, I feel like I need a is that a preposition? I don't know. I don't know grammar. Clearly, I. I Will be made up of farmers. Will be a farmer. Will be uh, the. Will be in the subset of farmers. Will I, I don't know, but it should not be. Will be farmer. Dun, 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 dun. This is the world I live in. Um, fully embraced my insanity. I really think to some extent everybody's a little bit insane. How could you survive? Yeah, well, you know, I was I was listening to something on the on the radio, and they were talking about how human beings have among other afflictions the most pronounced sense of denial out of any living creature of which i i thought was kind of an absurd statement because i was like i don't, I don't know how a cow could have denial but but whatever I, I accepted it and then they explained it they said because the the mortality component of life is such that if you were to actually consider it you would not leave your house so you have to you have to have a strong sense of denial, because otherwise you wouldn't leave your house. You'd be like, you you have to think to yourself, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna die. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bus. There's no way. Like, I'm invincible. You know, like there's no way it's gonna get into a car accident. You know that kind of thing. So it's just crazy. So I figured embrace the insanity, and everything. Everything goes a little bit easier that way. Um, yeah, so we have the transition matrix. So ap apologies, because again, this is an old exam. Uh, transition matrix uh, is a more all-encompassing term. The subset that we use is the, the probability matrix. So this is a Markov chain situation. Right? You might not recognize the term transition matrix. So, um, so I would, you know, I can just double check. Because uh, I might have used it on the final. Um, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't say. Doesn't say transition matrix on the final, so you're good. But in that sense, I literally just confirmed that there will be a Markov chain question. So, there you go. Um, so we want to know in the long run. So it would be, we're asking for a steady state vector here. So um, how about point two, point six, and point two? Anything that, as long as it adds up to one. Why is that the case? Well, the math might bear itself out correctly in terms of the fact that you can still do multiplication, but it wouldn't follow the rules of probability. So what you'd be coming up with as an outcome wouldn't be something that probability-wise would make sense. So in the context of the problem, it would be meaningless. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Oh, look, my Markov chain is still there. That's exciting. Oh, you didn't have it? The program deleted itself off my thing for some reason. Do you have one of the newer calculators? 
like the ones that recharge themselves that you can recharge oh. you didn't reset it so it's in there now okay because otherwise I just dump it in for you now you have the the choice of keep you know you can keep hitting enter until you're satisfied that you know to, with, with reasonable certainty what the steady state vector is or you can just keep going until it says done but Start getting really similar after a while. right you could just you could just call it 0 0.551 0 0.206 0 0.241 oh okay i overshot the mac okay well it repeats itself anyway so i had my initial State vector, which was my guess. And please let me uh, start at this. Good, okay. I let that be equal to, I believe it was 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.2 again, with 40 iterations. I, I hit hitting the wrong thing twice look at that look at me. um 0.552 somehow the middle one rounds to 6 over 29 and then Answer the question. Fortunately, it's the one that's fraction or fractional. Well, yes and no. No here, yes here. 